what you guys got another video here for you this one's been requested by a couple of my youtube members they've asked me two slightly different questions one of them was he wants to buy a new uh, laptop wants to upgrade and he wants to make sure that he gets uh, the best uh, cpu as possible and uh, also he wants to make sure that he doesn't end up buying an old generation cpu and how can he determine what generation the cpu is and the second person was asking uh, he wanted to buy a second hand laptop and he wanted to determine what uh, CPU generation they are and how can you detect that by just looking at it. So I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way to do that. Um, so let's get started anyway. So first off, what we're going to do is find out how you can tell what generation your CPU is. It's very easy and quick to do and I'll show you how to do it. So first off, I'm going to open up the start button here. Now it doesn't matter really what uh, operating system you're running, but I'm going to be uh, right clicking on the computer icon here now you can do this on any operating system uh, Windows 10 will be this PC now once you've got this open what you're looking for here is the actual name of the processor you can see here it says uh, system and processor and you can see it's an i7 5820k CPU and it tells you the uh, gigahertz there okay but what we're interested in is this part here so it's an i7 but what does that mean well there's loads of i7s there's loads of different generations of i7 and there's loads of different generations of i5s and i3s as well so what you want to do is take a look at this first number which is the 5 and that would normally determine what generation it is and I'll show you a chart in a second but you can see this is a fifth generation processor and uh, it's a K and you can also find out what these mean as well this means it's unlocked or a K does but I'll show you what the other versions mean as well so you can do that on any version of Windows uh, so what we're going to do is take a look at this site here which is Intel site and if you come to Intel so I will put the link in the description for you and it will tell you exactly what processors are and what they mean and, and what they do okay so you can see here i7 uh, 6 so this is a sixth generation you can see here or the sixth generation and this is a 6700 it doesn't have to match the number exactly but as long as it's got that number you know it's in that generation here now you can also see there's hq on the ends of it uh, here uh, hq and other different letters like k and you can find out what they mean so if you look down here you'll see what k means it means unlocked and uh, if you look at hq you can move down here and it will tell you what HQ is. HQ means high performance graphics uh, quad core and you've got HK high performance gra uh, graphics unlocked so you, you're getting that uh, there so if you've got an HK part and I'll show you this again on some of laptops in a second uh, H means it's a high performance graphics and U means ultra low power okay so that's what you're looking at when you're purchasing uh, your CPU now I'll come down to where it says my, uh, what my number is you can see m for mobile and uh, you can see i'm in the fifth generation here on this processor so you can see that's how you can quickly tell what um processor you've got and c you can see here and r different letters meaning different things so as you come down fourth generation the old i7s 4770s that's a fourth generation uh, processor so that's how you can uh, quickly find out what processor generation you've got and what one you're looking at okay so let's take a look at AMD let's just say you was buying an AMD processor if you went to AMD uh, website here uh, again this is slightly different but you would get different processors on here as well the FX processors you got the Athlons and the A series which are the APUs and the Seprons and Athlon now really personally if you're going to be buying uh, AMD then you want to sort of be going higher end ie fx they're the more powerful processors that they do uh, they also do the apus which are fine if you want to uh, build a, a machine that's just like a say for instance a htpc uh, home theater pc or a gaming pc where you've got the a10 processors pretty fast and, and pretty okay to, for playing games and surfing the web and just uh, doing a few bits and pieces on there but basically if that's all you're going to be doing they're okay for that 
but I, I would generally uh, sort of lean towards Intel nowadays. But if you want to build, if you want a tight budget, then AMD is still a very good uh, option for you. If you're not bothered about upgrading and stuff like that, uh, it's fine. So let's take a look at um, some laptops. So let's take a look at some laptops here, and I'll give you an example here. As you come down, you'll see like this laptop here, the Acer Aspire, and it says it's an i5, and it's a 5200U. So we know that is a fifth generation and ultra-low ultra, ultra low, um, power. And also, if you come down to the AMD A10, so you know it's an A10, it's an APU processor. It says APU there. And you can read up on these. You can actually go to the uh, AMD website and actually look at the processor itself. So you can see here, APU series. And you can run through here and select which version you've got and take a look at what it does and what it don't do and what it, basically what it can do for you. Let's just take a look at another site here. We'll take a look at this site now for instance if it's a second hand laptop that you're buying or a brand new laptop depends on what you want to do but second hand laptops and you can see here uh, you're getting some information an i5 and you can see it's a 4200 m which means it's a fourth gen i5 and that's probably why it's uh, so cheap but you can always uh, look on the main sites of your main uh, big sellers you know like your pc world your e-buyer if you're in the UK, if you're not, it's Newegg and Amazon and places like that. But you can look on there and you can check the CPU against modern day stuff to see the differences in price. And you might be able to get a, a similar processor for, say, 300 and you're actually buying a second hand one, which is an older gen, uh, and you're paying near enough that money for it. So that's what you want to do is have a look at the actual processor. You can see here, this is a third generation. Uh, and you, if you look on that site that I showed you, We'll go to the Intel site here. You come down and it will give you third gen all the way down, as you can see here, second generation, and so on. Okay. So when you're looking for that, that's how you can determine what generation your CPU is. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do once you know how. Intel should have really made it a lot clearer. It's it's become a bit of a minefield, and a lot of people, when they're buying laptops, get confused. They just see the letters i5 or i7, and it could be an old generation. If it's a, a small store that hasn't got massive stock, they could be selling old uh, third generation i5s, and you go in there thinking it's an i5 processor, not realizing it's an old. Uh, third generation processor and you've just spent the same money on that as you would have done if it had been a sixth gen uh, processor anyway i'm going to wrap this one up my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when i upload new videos if you've got any video requests or problems with your computers or you need some advice or anything like that you can head over to the forums the information's on the screen or you can answer in the comment section below on the video and I'll do my best to uh, answer those questions for you. But I, I don't always see the ones in the comments because I get so many every day. If you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, then the information's on the screen. Okay, thanks again for watching, guys. Bye for now.